This is a question that gets asked very often. Till 2008-2009, when the freezing of embryos was with the cumbersome slow freezing method, the success rate of freezing embryos and then transferring was around two-thirds that of a fresh cycle. Over the last six, seven years, what we are doing is we are vitrifying the embryos and then transferring these embryos. Believe me, with this vitrification technique, the success rate of frozen embryo transfer is actually either equal to or sometimes even better than fresh embryo transfers. What we tell our patients is, by freezing embryos and transferring them subsequently, they have a much better life and they can actually do what they want to with very few restrictions imposed on them. Natural cycle frozen embryo transfer is something that we are encouraging in larger numbers over the last couple of years. The patient requires to take almost no medication in a natural cycle and the embryo transfer is carried out fifth day or sixth day of her spontaneous ovulation. This should and is also becoming the best method of choice for most couples. Once we do the embryo transfer, the embryo floats around in the endometrial cavity that is the womb for another 3-4 days and finally settles down. The earliest that we can come to know is around 8-10 to 10 days after embryo transfer is carried out. But what we tell our patients is to wait for 14 days after embryo transfer is carried out if it's a day 3 embryo and wait for 12 days after embryo transfer is carried out if it is a blastocyst or a day 5 embryo and then go for a blood test to find out she is pregnant or not. We ask you to refrain from using an ordinary urine pregnancy kit because the ordinary urine kits don't have very high sensitivity and early pregnancies may not be detected by the urine kit and many people may stop their medications by seeing a negative results on the urine kit. So it's best to go for a blood test 14 days after an embryo transfer is carried out. See, we are a fertility clinic and we would like to focus on the fertility aspect of the patients only. Obstetrics or motherhood is a completely different thing. You require different sort of a care, your questions are different and your medications are different. So ideally, once you are pregnant, we'd like you to stay on with us for another couple of weeks till the time that we can detect the heartbeat in the baby, show that heartbeat to you, be happy and celebrate your happiness together and then refer you to an obstetrician that you like and have known about.